So I just finished fancying up my store page for my game Black Hole Fishing, and I'm really proud of what I was able to accomplish using these tools, and so I wanted to show off how I did it. I haven't seen a tutorial for Godot specifically, and there are some cool shortcuts you can take if you're using Godot to make these animated images. So I wanted to show you that uh, the main tools you're going to be using today are Godot, but we're also going to need a GIF editor. So I'm going to use a program called screen to GIF. And you notice it does come with a recorder. So if I want, I could record the gameplay, but there's actually an easier way to do this using Godot's built in recorder and then just using screen to GIF as an editor. I made a little scene here where I have some of my fish. Uh, these are a major element of my game. And I just set up a quick animation. So the animations will play they'll swim across the screen uh, and then when this finishes after 10 seconds this will automatically quit a really important thing on this is going to be the color so i have a color rectangle node in the back and i specifically chose the color of the steam store page so if i have this here i have steam in the background i can just grab this color node and use the color picker and come over to the other application and grab that page I'm doing this because they are a little bit transparent. So these fish will reflect the color that is behind them. So I want them to show the proper color. With that said, we're gonna be making a transparent GIF. So this will actually disappear in the end. So I'm going to record this. We're gonna enable the movie maker mode with this button up here. And then I'm gonna to go to project settings and make sure I'm saving to the right location. So by default, we are saving an AVI file, which is a video file. So I found that there were some weird issues with Godot's AVI and uh, screen to GIF. I was getting an error trying to use that. So I usually transcode these with FFmpeg to something like M MP4 video, but I don't want to have any loss. So we're just going to record these directly as a gameplay PNG. So when I run this, you'll see it starts playing and this is in slow motion. It's going about one second every five seconds but it is recording these PNG images uh, and we're slowly filling up this folder. So once we get all 300 of our frames, that's gonna stop. And then we're gonna switch over to screen to GIF and we are going to import those. So we're gonna click load. Then we are going to select all of our images, 61, 279, and 300. So we'll open those and they will import into screen to GIF. Now for a Steam store page specifically, you have a width of 616 pixels. That is the maximum image size they support. So we can use an animated GIF, but it needs to be within that size. I was recording at the native resolution of the game. Uh, obviously I could have changed the game's resolution, but instead I'm gonna modify that here in screen to GIF. So I now have all of these frames, and then I'm gonna go to image and we will crop, uh, just kidding, we're gonna resize first we're going to do a 50% reduction in scale. So we'll just do 50% and we're going down to 960 from 1920 by 1080. So this is a little bit smaller. We'll see it's resizing our frames for us. And then I'm going to crop this. And going back to Godot for a second, I have the grid snap enabled and uh, checking my grid settings, you'll see I have mine configured with a primary line every eight pixels. So coming down, this is 64 tall uh, is how big that band of swimming fish is. So divide that by two, that's 32. So now that these are resized, we're going to crop them. So I will do a bottom of 32 and then a width of 616. So this is going to be the steam size for this. So now all we have to do is save. So I'm going to go file, save as. Um, and we'll name it whatever. Um, usually you will use, a, I like FFmpeg is good for if you're doing a large gameplay GIF. However, that doesn't support transparency. So I'm gonna use screen to GIF built-in encoder, uh, highest fidelity, that all looks good. Um, but here there's an option to enable the transparency. So if I turn that on, it'll have you select which color to display and you just drag this to sample the colors. So if I had something like that green, then that is what I would try to use. So you wanna make sure to actually grab the steam background here. So we will sample the steam background, we'll say okay. And then we will save this and it'll process all of our frames. And then the last thing we need to do is double check the size. This needs to be less than five megabytes. We're 2.5, that's good. So I don't need to do any more optimization here. So we're gonna open up this folder and we'll see, I now have a transparent fish swimming. 
So these do have those dark borders, as you can tell. Uh, when I was doing this earlier, I actually had them where there was a gray band. Uh, but that's a problem because if you resize your store page, when you go to mobile, you actually will get a different color. So that'll show up. So uh, if you're on a phone versus a PC, it's a different color. So making it transparent works. Um, so coming in here, I now have my uh, Steam store page admin. I'm looking at the descriptions and we right now have a bunch of boring text. So I'm going to go and upload my fish gift here. Uh, dragging it in, we will have uh, an upload. And then we can add this to our description. So here we are. We will grab that GIF we created. And we now have our fish swimming in the scene. Uh, if I scroll down, you'll notice I actually have a gameplay sample. But this is kind of boring. This is just a square, you know, standard recording of the screen. I wonder if we can make that a little bit more interesting. So going to the main scene, I'm going to... Scroll down to my UI and I'm going to add a polygon node. Now, these are fun because you can draw any shape you want. So this is down at the bottom of everything. So it's going to be on top of all of my other elements. It's not going to be covered by any of these gradients or other things. Um, and right now this is covering everything, but there is an option to invert a polygon. And so now it's on the outside. So I'm going to do the same thing where I go through and I don't have a reason. Color, so I will grab the swatch from the Steam page. Uh, this doesn't really matter because we're going to do transparent, but it's I, I prefer to play it safe and pick the actual color from the store page. Um, so we now have a polygon here, which we can tweak. Say I want to cut off the corners of my game. And now I'm just going to play uh, instead of the scene I was working on, I'm going to play the actual game. And then uh, we'll see we have the main menu here so i'm just going to turn that off and unfortunately because we are recording the png files this is going to be really 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 slow i can do this a lot faster if i'm recording to an avi but again i want to make sure that that transparency isn't touched editor matt jumping in i made a kind of silly mistake uh doing this earlier when i am recording to pngs like this you notice my frame rate is really 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 slow it takes forever to get uh, any <laughs> any meaningful output out of this and ultimately we're going to need to scale this down anyways so instead of recording at the large resolution i'm going to go to project settings and one we see we are recording at 60 frames per second i know i'm going to need less than that so i'm going to divide this by three uh, yeah, we'll go 20 frames per second. And then the other thing I'm going to do, now we're recording fewer frames, but I also am going to want to go to display window. And if I change my viewport size, it's going to break everything because uh, the viewport is this box that is surrounding all of my gameplay elements. But you can change the override size, which will stretch it without ruining anything. So I'll change that to 616. And if I run that, I think we will get a very okay tall and skinny so i'm going to then come around and change the other one so we will take the 1080 and then we're going to divide that by 1920 and if i hit enter this is actually going to give me zero because these are integers so you need to add a dot zero to make that a floating point value finally multiply by 616 and we get sure 347 so that should be the same aspect ratio but it is now the size we need so if i turn this back on and i start recording this at this frame rate there we go much much faster so it's not quite real time uh it is very very close to real time and i'm going to still show you how i resized and retimed and all of those things because those are useful to know but if you can get the godot export as close as possible to the final thing you need it's going to save you a little bit of effort on the editing side all right back to the video Okay, we've recorded 300 and something frames, so I'm going to call that good enough. And uh, once those are all saved, we will open them up in screen diff again. So if you import an actual video, it'll know what the frame rate is. Uh, doing this as a series of PNG images, it doesn't. So I'm going to slow this down. We'll go way down. We'll go like 15 milliseconds instead of uh, 60 or whatever that was. And that feels a little more like I was wanting. Okay, so I've retimed it. The other thing is we need to go and once again resize. And this time I'm going to choose pixels. And we're just going to do 616 wide and 346 tall. That sounds good. 
So I'm not worrying about the height because uh, it's whatever that converts to. But I want to keep this the, the right width for Steam. So it fills up that entire description. So here we are now. Uh, we'll see that 15 milliseconds is feeling pretty good. Now, this is really smooth, but we actually have a lot of frames, 197 of them. So we'll start by deleting a few frames. We'll have just 150 of them, or I guess 159. Um, but even that is going to be, I think, too much. So if I try to save this off, I think it's going to just be overwhelmingly massive. So if I want to switch to FFmpeg, which is a video encoder, I get a 7.8 megabytes, which is still too big, but it's pretty small. But because I want that transparency, I'm going to insist on using the worst encoder, which is probably going to be way bigger. Uh, this is taking like two minutes to encode this thing. Yeah, 15 megabytes, absolutely massive. So I'm going to shrink this a little more. We'll go 125 frames in total instead of 160. And that will help a little, but we're still going to be too big. So the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to select all my frames. I'm going to go to edit and we're going to reduce the frame count. And we have right now a, uh, I think it's 60 frames per second is what Godot is recording in. So we're going to actually remove two frames every one frame, meaning we're removing two thirds of the frames. So we'll apply that. And now we're down to 40 frames in total. And you'll notice it jumps a little bit more, but that actually works. It masks that transition at the end. I can't tell when it's looping anymore, where previously that was really noticeable. Um, so I think that's working just fine. So we're going to stop that recording and we're going to try one more time. And we want to make sure this is five megabytes or less. 4.1. Perfect. So we're going to head back to our Steam page now. I had previously done one of these, but we're just going to delete that and do it again. And I'm going to drag in this new one I made. Go ahead and upload it. And you'll notice our corners should be cut off. Um, nope, that's blue. Something went wrong. Let's double check all this. So going back to save as I am high quality and we are going to select that our color is this one. So one more time, I think I might have picked the wrong color for the Steam store page or something like that. But um, uh, now if I open it up, OK, we indeed have those cut off. So that's what I was looking for. And you'll notice if I zoom in, you can tell uh, there's a little bit of that edge. So that is why I wanted to make sure it is the proper color instead of it being like bright pink or something that will show up. Um, so there we are. We will now drag this one in. We will delete this one that has colored edges and we will upload this one that has uh, actually transparent edges. So there we go. We'll come back up. And we'll just place this image in the description right here. And just like that, we have a, a gameplay sample that looks very polished and deliberate. Like I spent some time on this. I really want you to uh, think that my game is high quality. So going back to preview changes in store, we'll see that final version. And here we go. And if I do open it up on mobile, we will see that even when the store page goes darker, you don't have a corner here that's the light blue color that is truly transparent so that's it for this one uh, there's a lot of fun things you can do i actually have a update i did and i put all of these gifts all throughout the update uh, so you can put those all over the place i've also been posting some of these things to discord and uh, this is before I, I removed the transparency but here throughout the discord message i have my fish swimming around so it's just a really fun way to punctuate uh, anywhere you're talking about your game that supports gif another one obviously is itch itself i haven't pushed this game onto itch i've been sticking with steam but you can do the exact same process for those so hopefully that's helpful uh, if you like clicker games please check out black hole fishing otherwise i uh, hope that this works for your game and uh, leave a comment below i have not done a tutorial in almost a year but i do enjoy teaching and i'm thinking about coming back around and doing more so let me know if this is useful if you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff uh, i definitely would consider it so um yeah that's it for this one thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one